Hello everyone and welcome to my uh, series on uh, Team Fortress 2 Weapon Guides. In this video we will be looking at the Force of Nature. As a primary weapon for the scout, it is a double barrel shotgun. Uh, let's start by going into the stats of this weapon. Um, so it's got 50% uh, faster firing rate um, and knocks back the target upon impact. It has an additional 20% pellets per shell, a 10% damage penalty, and a 66% smaller clip size. Uh, let's go in. Let's go in a little bit further in depth into what that means. Uh, Fifty percent rate of uh, fire or f faster firing speed will lower its uh, delay between shells down to three hundred twenty milliseconds. Um, yeah, approximately three hundred twenty milliseconds. So yeah, um, it uh, knock back on the target and shooter. So uh, whenever you uh, when you uh, d hit an enemy, it will knock them back. Uh, you know, send them taking a step back and all. Um, the amount the enemy is knocked back by it depends on and is related to the amount of damage you are able to do deal to them. Um, the more damage you do, the further they get knocked back. <laughs> all right. A uh, twenty percent extra pellets per shot and a ten percent damage penalty. I'm telling you right now, this overall increases the max damage of this uh, force uh, nature up to. Uh, all right, let me just quickly fall back a little. Uh, starting out, it fires uh, 12 pellets per shell, and each pellet will do approximately 9 damage. Its maximum damage is 113 at, co at pretty much uh, uh, point blank, and at long ranges, it'll only do as up to three damage so yeah each pellet at long range is, is only gonna do three damage so yeah um, a 66 percent clip size penalty means your starting ammunition is uh, lowered uh, down to two uh, two shells in the inside the weapon and 32 in reserve so 2 slash 32 um, it's uh, the amount of time you need to reload this weapon is one uh, 1.65 uh, seconds uh yeah 1.65 seconds all right so let's uh let's talk more about this weapon it is uh oh uh the knockback uh, i should know right now when you're in bed air uh firing this weapon will cause you to be pr uh pushed uh into the opposite direction you were facing um this could be used as a third mini triple jump uh, just a, you know, just like a small extra jump on top of what you already have as a scout, the double jump. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> All right. Um, this weapon in game is uh, can be seen being used by players who are playing an anti scout role. There, as in, they use this weapon to take out uh, enemy scouts. I find that this weapon is capable of playing many scout roles other than just simply eliminating the enemy scouts so yeah uh, let's see um, uh, once again the knock oh I should uh, know right now more about the knockback only the first shell will deal knockback to your enemy hitting the enemy with the second shell will do nothing uh, no additional knockback but uh, obviously it'll still do damage the same thing applies for when you're uh, airborne only the first shell will knock you back whether it's to your advantage or not and the second shell will no longer knock you back. So yeah, um, I s think this is all I want to say about this weapon. So um, uh, let's see. Yeah. So um, let's see. I think that's it for the most part. So um, oh, I should note uh, while when you're reloading this weapon, the it will always consume two shells, even if there's still one shell left inside the chamber or barrel that can still fire. So Given its low rate of fire, you should probably just expend both shells before you reload, so um, you know you didn't waste the um, the last uh, the second shell in there. Be it uh, you know even if it only does three damage, it's still better than zero. So yeah, just note that reloading this weapon will always take up two shells, eh, even if you only fired one shot. So yeah. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say about this weapon. It's pretty good. Um, it's it it's commonly used, uh, not commonly, but it's uh, it could be seen used as an anti scout weapon. Um, but I find that it also can fulfill the role of a scout in many situations. Uh, anyway, so um yeah. Um, all right. So um, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh 
uh, rate the video, like the video, comment, uh, subscribe, uh, all that stuff. You know, I really appreciate it. So, um, yeah. Uh, well, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you learned something from this video, um, or at least find it entertaining. So, um, yeah. So, I suppose I'll talk to y'all later. Um, see ya, everyone. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that this weapon is more prone to guerrilla warfare. So, I suppose the flying guillotine and the sandman do have a do uh, tend to fit in with it. Um, yeah. Or would you rather just a uh, pistol to back you up, deal that slight extra damage you might need to close in for a kill? So yeah, yeah. Or you know, a lot of things can be used with the force of nature. It all depends on how you want to play with it. But uh, like I said, um, flying guillotine, sandman, uh, I find tend to suit it the best. So I think that's everything. Uh, um. So um. Let me know what y'all you all think about the review and um so I suppose I'll talk to y'all later so in another video so um e yeah so uh once again I hope you uh, learned something from this video or at least was uh, were entertained so um yeah um I I think that's everything um Alright, so, um, yeah. Well, uh, good night, everyone. Um, yeah. Um, if that's okay with you. Um, uh, yeah. Alright, so now I just gotta stall about 12 seconds for the video to end. Heh heh heh. Uh. Alright, alright, this is pretty much good. So, uh, good night, everyone. Yeah.